Okay, so this is how I do it, right? We've got our nozzle, we have our heat brake. What we need is these two to be perfectly touching, no gaps, right? So what I usually do is I take the block, I screw this in right till the threads end. You see how there's a portion here that's threaded? And a portion that's not. So I screw it into about there. Then I take this. Screw that in. And you notice how when they are hand tightened, one, nothing's wobbling, but we've got a gap between the nozzle and the block and the heat break and the block. And you notice how basically all of the threads are nice and neat and tightened up. Now, this is a brand new nozzle that I pulled out of the bag. Like I can't easily do pull this out. I have to twist the heat break out to be able to remove the nozzle. This shouldn't be floppy when you put it together for the first time. All right, so that's tight, that's tight. And now that one's good to go. Now, what I now do is I thread this down so that it's up against this. Then we slide this into the extruder body as far up as it'll go, tighten the screw up here, then screw this all the way back up because we don't want the heat sink touching the heater block because that's how we get heat creep, right? Once that's all in, you heat the block up to 200 or 230 or whatever, leave it there for a few minutes to stabilize and then grip this with a pair of pliers and just lightly tighten this. There should be no wobble and you've got plenty of room here to be able to increase. So if this backed out for any reason, this has room to go. What you really don't want is this flush up against that and then this back in here because this, you see how many threads are sticking out there? This isn't making good contact and you have nowhere to go. This can't be tightened and you can't, this is smooth so there's nowhere to grip this. So best way, like I said, is to, and again, if we look at this, there's a threaded portion and then there's not a threaded portion. So we put that in there like that, hand tighten it, and away we go. This screw here is for the um, thermistor and then the heater cartridge. On the Mingda you want these coming out the correct side. And that's how you install the new heat brake in the Magician X. So, and again, you got to heat this up. Once it's back installed, hold this with a pair of pliers, let it get, or let it get to temperature, hold it with a pair of pliers, and then lightly tighten this. You can snap this. This is aluminium, this is brass, and this is supposedly titanium alloy. So you want to make sure that this is hot, grip this with a pair of pliers, and then just lightly tighten this with, with a tool. You don't want to go nuts, but and it shouldn't move much. Once it's done, there should be no movement in this, and that's how you ensure you get a nice, clean, solid mount. Enjoy.